Ladies and gentlemen, our next match is for the WWE United States Championship and could be a main event for any brand. Michael Words cannot explain how pumped I am for this match. The one, the only, Logan Paul. He's just as flashy as ever. He belongs on the WrestleMania stage. Logan Paul certainly loves soaking up the spotlight. Knows how to make a WrestleMania caliber entrance. Remember when he rode a zip line to the ring? <laughs> well, WrestleMania is all about turning things up, and Logan's great at that. Could be another great WrestleMania performance from Paul. Introducing the challenger from the Isle of Samoa, weighing in at 279 pounds, Jacob Felt You! And his opponent from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 205 pounds, the WWE United States Champion, Winning the United States Championship etches your name with a legendary company. The United States Championship has a tremendous amount of history gaining back. Let me stop you, Cole. We know the history. Tonight, this match is about the future. The United States Champion isn't focused on how he won it. He's focused on keeping it. As much as I want to, I can't argue with that, Corey. Out of the ring. What's his plan here? Lands an elbow. Connects the fist to the face. Great count. One response after another. Back and forth we go. Face, face buster. buster. Thrown back in under the ropes. Punch. And Paul could have all the natural ability in the world, but it didn't prepare him for that. Look ringside now, guys. This manager's doing something very suspicious. And shoulders are down. And a shoulder in the air. He's nowhere near ready to stop fighting yet. He's got the answer for that one. See an answer for every move attempted. Stop pulling pile driver. That was the most dangerous position for any competitor to ever be in. You gotta hope there was no irreparable damage done. Any more hits in that area could leave him dizzy. Uh-oh. And that's a nasty gash on the face of Logan Paul now, guys. Headbutt. Oh, not done yet. A second. And a third, two. Ooh. You can't get caught in a hailstorm like that if you want to win. Mistake made by Logan Paul. Oh, gosh. Logan Paul looking helpless to every attack. This is Logan Paul's perseverance getting tested. He saw it coming. Getting set up 
for something in the corner. Reversal on top of reversal. Back and forth from these competitors. Headbutt. Oh, not done yet. A second and a third, two. And now a third. Straight aggression rained down with unbelievable force, and this could be their path to the title. No, no, no. Ah, oh, straight to the floor. That was playing with fire and getting burned. The decision to take such a risk at this juncture is questionable. Taking the champion out. Gets dropped. Timely reverse DDT. A ball creates an opportunity. These two battling to a dead heat with these reversals. Uh oh. Elbow throw. Saying not today. Here's a pin for the title. And he gets his shoulder up before the count. It is going to take a lot more to keep him down. Oh, man. Headbutt. And Paul is being picked apart here. Heavy work being done to Logan Paul right now. Gets inside the ring. Up high. That one fails to land. Missed the mark. Dodged right off cue. Things just changed in a big way. There is no reason for him to be out here. But well, where are they? Ooh, got caught with a punch to the face. Uh-oh, we're going to hyperdrive. Looks like he has the upper hand now. Yeah, he's fulfilling his game plan to the T. Take off. Fails to hit the bullseye. Big boy. These superstars have endured so much punishment. Certainly looking worse for wear, but the tide can shift at any moment.
Butterfly lock is applied. And what a throw that was. Oof, answer that with a stiff knee. Right now, I just don't know what it's going to take. Yeah. Hooked up, and boom! The challenger not looking good right now. Letting this match go a little longer than is strictly advisable. Might want to try making use of that stipulation. You can sense it. This crowd is on pins and needles. The WWE Universe is ready. Oh, my God! You see that height. The title's in jeopardy here. I think the paradigm has shifted. Uh-oh. We're going to hyperdrive. Oh, pile driver. Climbing to the top rope. Look out. Working against Logan Paul now. Paul has to wake up and fast. Lutez Press waiting down right hands. Letting his opponent know respect is earned, and he's still a dollar short. Okay, already we get it. Stop looking for adulation for the crowd and get back into the fight. Turn that table into kindling. Lift off. All the way to the outside. From ring post to ring side, risking it all paid off. And he gets delivered back into the ring. Paul avoids the attack. Now that's a bell ringer. He foiled that attempt. Running Hurricane Rana! Fantastic. Whip back into the ring. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Flying. Oh, and he doesn't connect. Heads out of the ring. What's next? Turns it around. Sole of foot meets the stop. Quick exchange of counters there. Oh, what a tap. Going up top. Oh, my God. Salt. You see that height? Going to see a new champ. Two counters. He kicks out somehow. Based on what we just saw, I think this match is far from over. Who knows what that kick out costs? The champ might be running on fumes. And there needs to be a refocus now. Oh my god! Moonsault! Did you see that height? The title might change hands! There's two! Shoulder up still holding on to the title! The title still hanging in the balance! Resilience of a champion on display. All of that work, all of these big moves, and it still didn't earn the fall. What a match! It's total madness in here! Okay, already we get it. Stop looking for adulation for the crowd and get back into the fight. And he slides him back to the mat. Off the turnbuckles. What's he gonna do? Up high, cross body. Looking for the victory. Two.
I have to imagine things might have been different had this been a fully fair fight, but tonight we only have this. I don't see how you can say the distraction factor didn't play a factor in this one, guys. They tried to tune out the added presence, but it ultimately proved to be too much for them. You hate to see it.